Hello and welcome to Jessie James Beads. My name is Jem and today I'm going to show you how to make your own simple loop or eye pin loop. If you'd like to join me down at the board, I'll show you what we're going to make and talk about some of the reasons that you might want to create your own eye pins. So here are a couple of previously made eye pins, a very, very useful thing to have in jewellery making for adding quick links. You can even use them to make the world's simplest earrings. If you don't have a head pin to hand, you can create an eye pin using a simple loop down at the bottom. And then you can either choose a wrapped loop or a simple loop at the top. But first we need to know how to make the perfect simple loop. So to get the best from your wire, this is around about three inches of 18 gauge round wire. This is raw copper, which is a soft temper, but this technique will work on a medium temper, craft or jewellery or German style wire as well. As always, I'm going to give that a very, very quick warm through just to get some fluidity and heat into that wire. What I'm going to do is use the largest part of my round pliers to get a beautiful round shaped loop going up at the top. So I'm going to pop the wire in at the largest point I can possibly manage and just rotate those pliers around until I get a crossover so that you've made a circle and then the wire is coming away. I would then switch out to using my chain nose pliers. Any flat facing pliers with a reasonably fine tip will work. I'm going to grip that circle shaped wire just at the point which the cut end intersects with that circular form. And I'm going to push that wire firmly away in a straight line trying to make it so that the circular form sits centrally on the end. Now you might be able to see that mine is slightly over to one side, so I'm just going to grip the circular form and shift its position on that pin. So it is now much more centralized. What I'm doing here is just very gently coercing the circular form around until the cut end meets that angle exactly. And then I'm going to give the angled section a little bit of strength and hardening. So what you can do if you're bored or you don't know what to do, but you've only got 10 minutes, you can sit and batch make yourself a load of simple loop head pins. I beg your pardon, eye pins. Just give that a bit of a smooth through, get that nice and straight. And then you've got plenty to work with when you need one. It's a great way of using up scrap wire. The key here is to add some strength to the angle and the circular form. Leave a little bit of fluidity in the end of your pin in case you need to turn that into a wrapped loop or indeed a simple loop up at the other end of your design. If you're working to create quick jewellery and there isn't much weight going to be pulling away from a simple loop, you can absolutely link this into other pieces. The key with using a simple loop to carry is that there's not going to be much weight here and you also apply strengthening to that form. So I've really given that a hearty squish between the flat surfaces of my pliers. I'm going to grab in a fancy double connector I made earlier. I'm just going to open this exactly the same way that you would open a jump ring. So we're retaining that circular form. I'm going to pop in the thing I want to dangle. And then I'm going to close that up again in exactly the same way as you would a jump ring so that it sits back in its original formation. And every time I open and close one of those, I'm going to give that a good strengthen so that I know it will last. Now, one thing I would say is you may prefer, if you're going to be making jewellery, which does take a little bit of weight or pulling, you may prefer to always go for wrapped loops, but sometimes all you need is a simple loop, and that's how to make them successfully. You could then add on a couple more beads and create a simple or a wrapped loop at the other end. Let me just take this one out for now. But as I said, one of the really useful things to do with your scraps of wire is to prepare yourself a bunch of eye pins or simple loops.